Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. I am Lucha FM. We are on episode 45 of the Wraith Rover's journey and what a journey it's been so far. And uh, we might be basically bringing in Paul Pogba, former uh, French international uh, Manchester United player, Juventus player, disgraced human being. Um, but we might be signing him nonetheless. Um we are all about bringing in the big time players here, and I'm really not happy with not being able to forget, not noticing Thomas Muller. So it's a bit of a gut reaction to then. I looked at Sissi, who was available on a free transfer, and Paul Pogba was available. Um, you know, he is good at passing. He has he, he is probably decent on FM. Um, on a personal level, um, he was a bit of a a diva at Man United. So I was happy when he left, and he has obviously gone on to get found out as being a cheat. So, but I think, to be honest, if it was, I would never sign Mason Greenwood because it's completely different. You know, obviously what Paul Pogba had done is disgraceful, but he hasn't harmed anybody in a way. So, you know, as much of a cheat as he is, um... I, th I will make an exception for him. We can't we can't play until next season anyway. So anything can happen in the meantime. But we're just waiting for a, an appeal for the work permit. Uh, Oberfemi is out for four or five weeks, which is a shame. He keeps getting injured. He's so, he literally he can't play more than a game without getting injured. In fact, I'll have a look at his injury history. What is injury history here? History injuries. So if we... Look at this, got all these little nagging injuries, but let's just say from this season, he's been out for one day and then six days and then four weeks and then, yeah, it's just one after the other, which is a shame really because I want him to start. I'm now having to rely on Hoyland because Oberfemi and Ross Stewart's injured. Uh, playing Hibs next. Hopefully, we can get back on winning form. Our luck's got to change sooner or later. We can't just be continually screwed in this game. Are we just destined to be a mid-table Scottish Premier team every season? I don't mind that. Um, but I would like to win some trophies with uh, Ray Rovers. I have won the Premier Sports Cup, but to me, that's not anything major. Right, here we go. Line up for Hibs. Uh, defence is you. Warner's in defence this time. Longello's in. Campbell's in midfield for a change. Boulder's on the left. Hoyland's up front. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'm not as confident as I was last game against Rangers. And then... Oh, I'm, so, I'm still good about that result in the Rangers game. We drew 2-2 two -two after winning 2-0. We started so brightly and then just went... Like that. Concentration levels are not very good at the club at the moment. Maybe our aim is to get fifth or sixth position this season, then maybe that's a realistic goal for us. I don't fancy our chances against Hibs. We don't seem to ever play well against Hibs. But that was a beautiful pass. Absolutely picked us apart then. Uh, Hackney's knacker, we've got to take him off already. Good tackle there, whoever that was. Rui needs to come off in the second half by the looks of it already. We 
I've had a few bookings as well, which is not good. Alright, Rui needs to come off. Welsh. Uh, right, Ali can come on. I don't know what we were attempting there, but all we've done is set up a highlight for Hibs by the looks of it. Oh, maybe not, I stand corrected. Go on, Maldini. Oh, come on. We're not going to get anywhere with shots like that. I think Maldini did that because he knew he was coming off. Being a petulant little child. Uh, clicked on the wrong thing there. Right, can we, have we got time to get a late equaliser? I mean, we're matching them for shots. Sort of new there with XG. <clears throat> Another loss. Uh, it's frustrating. Complete contrast from two episodes ago when we were, we were just destroying teams. I don't know what's going on. Right, so uh, Warner will be going in January. Uh, let's have a look at the dynamics. I want to see if there's anybody. Warner. So nobody... So yeah, so it's it's weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to change my tactic. See how I get on against Celtic. If it doesn't work out against Celtic, I'll probably have to change tactics. I think. Then again, if I change tactics, that might make it worse. I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, Paul Pogba has been granted a work permit. Good. There we go. Oh no, they've cancelled it. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do, everyone? I don't know, I shouldn't really do this, but I'm not doing anything other than removing the ban. So, let's try again. They only want seven months. Can we, can we change that to two years? Yeah, there we go. Right, now I, don't want, I normally wouldn't use the editor, so obviously if that puts you off watching me, I understand, but... At the end of the day, I wasn't going to wait for the summer to sign him when other clubs can go through. And also as well, he's older and slower. And for the fun of the game, his save is all about signing players that wouldn't normally come to Rafe Rovers, like Deli Ali and that. So I think the good points outweigh the bad. If there's a big uproar about it, if I get a few comments in the about it on the video, then I will just use the editor to release him from the club. So there'll be no harm. We'll just leave it as that. Right, Hackney's out for a few weeks, which is not good because he's a really good midfielder for us. Right, Celtic in the Premier Sports semi-final. You never know, we get through to the Premier Sports final. Uh, and we get like five or six plays and we win the Premier Sports Cup. That would probably be a good season really when you think about it. Considering where, what, what type of club that we are at the moment. We are probably, realistically we're probably a mid-table Scottish Premiership team. We're slowly building a good team here though. Uh, 
Let's have a look at where we're predicted to be. Season preview, there we go. Oh, so we are predicted to be fourth. So we should be doing better, really, in hindsight. Can we still get fourth? Are we good enough to get fourth place? We're currently eighth. You're having a laugh, ain't you? Oh, we're only three points behind, so... We get a couple of wins on the road, but we're just we're just so lacking form at the moment. Rui continues to do well. One of our bright sparks in such a a, a meh season, as I call it. Uh, got him. We got him for five years. Fourteen million release calls. I can't imagine many teams are going to go for him. So hopefully, we'll have him for a long time yet. <coughs> I just don't want him to go to like Celtic or Rangers and strengthen them. I could just about handle it if he goes uh, to England or abroad or anything like that. But yeah, as long as he doesn't go to Rangers or Celtic, I'm alright with that. All right, Nathan Ferguson's in this. Yep. Yeah. I know we've got Escalante is right back, and then Welsh and Davis in the defence. Dio on the left, do us some goal. Aziz and Rios in the field. Bowler on the right, Deli Ali in the middle, Dorigo, Dat Arigo on the left, and Hoyland up front. Can we play anybody else other than Hoyland? Uh, we are lacking in strikers. We could play Rocky Balboa, but I think Hoyland's probably slightly better than him. Oh, I just need to adjust my leg, sorry. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just checking my mic's still working. Sometimes when I move, my mic goes off, which is really annoying. Then I have to restart everything. Right, let's see how we get on here. If you can hear a, a noise, that is my neighbour's cat, who's very, very noisy. I apologise for that. Anyway, let's get the ball off Celtic. Come on. Oh, good save. Good save, goalie. Their corner, though. Good, 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 good. I don't know how that's a goal kick. That should have been a throw in, if anything. <coughs> Right, let's try and encourage them a bit. Celtic or all over us. I can't I can't see us winning this game. Look at I mean look at the XG. They should have scored. If anything, it'll make us a bit of money from the attendance of the game. Because obviously Celtic coming will bring in a big crowd. Goal by them with free kick. David Watson. Absolutely stupendous by Watson. David Watson, have I ever heard of him? No. Kilmarnock. Oh, okay. One to watch out for in real life, by the looks of it. Maybe. Alright, we've got to throw in. Can we do something with this? Oh, nearly. Right, Darigo is coming off. He's not been playing very well. Uh, Redmond can come on for him. Boulder's not playing well, so Hugo Palacios can come on. Davis. Oh, actually, we'll leave it because in case we're getting any injuries. <coughs> 2 0 to them. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, no. That's uh, killed the game off for us. We are definitely, definitely going to have to change tactics, I think. Rios can come off, put Alan Campbell on. Are we going to get another one? No. Nope. 
Right, there ain't much we can do here. We've just got to get this game done now. <laughs> Hopefully we do well in the Scottish Cup because that brings us a hell of a lot of money. Oh, we get a consolation goal. Hoyland, that's good that Hoyland scored. That'll do his confidence the world of good. Right, Celtic with a corner. Now this is where they kill the game off. Win 3-1. Taking their sweet time with the corner. Oh, we defend it well by the looks of it. They've got it back though. No, nope, they missed it. Is there any drama left? Oh, no. They're going to throw in. They're probably going to score from here. <coughs> At least we got a goal though. At least Hoyland scored. That'll do his confidence the world of good. I'm just going to praise him. Come on, Celtic, just hurry up. You've won the game. Fine, right, there you go. Right, we need to change tactics, I think. Right, let's, let's tactics, right, let's create a new tactic. Game on press, again, maybe. Probably way to go. Isn't that the formation we're already playing? I oh, know it ain't. So we've got two strikers in this one. That might make it interesting. We do that. So this would be our likely formation. Rocky Balboa up there. Patterson, maybe. I don't think these, this is not going to be the starting lineup when we play next game. I think it's just... Right, let's see how we get on. Let's see if we can get Popper here. <coughs> Popper will be a good addition to the team, I think. He has got certain character, uh, attributes that would help us. Jack Henry's not happy, so we'll get rid of him. Uh, oh. If we're getting rid of Warner and Jack Henry, we might need to get... Uh, oh no, we're already bringing in a central defender. I can't pronounce his name, but he's pretty good. Bloody hell, typical Hoyland out for a couple of days now. <laughs> Dundee. They are, in our, and luckily for us, they are doing worse than us. Escalante is not happy, so we'll get rid of you. Get some money. Um, Amari Bell's not happy, so we'll get rid of you as well. This is not going to do good for the morale when you've got loads of unhappy players. We just need to get rid of them. Alright. Let's see how we get on against Dundee. Uh, Jack Henry's out the door. So uh, hopefully we can beat Dundee with this new tactic. I mean, if this new tactic doesn't work, I don't know what to do at this point. 
I'm not going to start using downloaded down, uh, downloaded tactics because that's cheating. I already feel bad using the editor to get rid of uh, Pogba's suspension. Right then. We are playing Rocky Balboa, so there you go. Right, so we've got Duris in goal, Rui is right back, Welsh and Davis in centre defence, GR on the left, Rios and Aziz in midfield, Carozo and Maldini on the wings, Balboa and Hoyland up front. Maybe Balboa will be able to help Hoyland. Maybe they can work together and work well. We'll see. Let's see. I'm excited to see how this new tactic works out. I mean, look at that already. There we go. Corozo's injured already. Bowler's coming on. Got two injuries already. Balboa's had to come off. Patterson's come on. We are really lacking the strikers if we've got Patterson up front. <laughs> God help us, this bloody Hoyland gets injured. Oh, look at that ref. Come on. Send him off. Yes, there you go. That will hopefully help us. Oh, flipping out. Hoyland's not going to have to take him off now. Who can I put on? Oh, Daddy Ali. Good, good, good. That was lucky. We should be beating them now. It'll be really annoying if we lose to these when they're, when they're down to 10 men. Because if it's the other way round, whenever you get a player sent off, you always lose. Well, pretty much always lose. I wouldn't say always lose, but 99% of the time you lose. Right, let's hope we can turn the performance up in the second half. We're doing well by the looks of it from the stats. So they thought the new tactics working. we just probably not got the confidence yet. Ah, slightly over. Right, I don't think we can, can we take any more, no, we can't even take any more players off, we better not get any injuries, oh, we get the bloody bar then. Oh, Aziz, come on. We really should be winning this game. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. 13 shots, 4 on target, 1.42 xg. We should be bloody thrashing them. We really do need to win this game. If we draw this game, it's going to be disgraceful. Right, come on. Let's get a goal. Come on. We've got bloody Deli Alley and bloody Callum Patterson up front. We've got no chance. Come on, Maldini. Come on, Aziz. Davis. Oh, come on. Come on, pull the trigger, somebody. Yes, get in. Go on, bowl. Oh, ref, come on. Really? Really? Just give us the bloody goal. We deserve it. Come on. Ah, oh, the dagger to my heart, that is. Right, come on. Let's get this goal. Bowler with the free kick. Get in, Ben Davis. There you go. You can bugger off, referee. Yeah, unlucky ref. You can't bloody VAR that one. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, here we go. <sighs> FM just doesn't want you to win. There you go. See, FM, they just don't want you to win. The loser's right. The, the game is changed. When they don't want you to win, you won't win. Oh, here we go. VAR? The goal awarded. Yeah. Ah, come on. Take in the bloody myth, that is. <sighs> that just tells you everything you need to know about the game. I guarantee if I had a man sent off, we'd have lost 4 now. Right, uh, 14 days till the next game, so I'm going to holiday and I'll come back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back. Um, let's see how we get on. Let's see if we sign Pogba. You never know. Nesbitt's out for a few months. He's never played. He's very rarely played for us. I might look to sell him in the when he comes back from injury. 
Uh, Anne Campbell's not happy, so we'll sell him. Maldini's doing well. Maldini's probably our best player. Or up there, definitely. Keeps improving in training. Six goals, three assists in the season so far. Very good. Uh, Paul Pogba rejected, delayed. So we. Amari Bell's gone. Uh, we'll probably sell McTominay as well, make some money on him. Uh, yeah, doing well in training, so we'll praise Owen Penman, another good prospect for the future. He's not doing very well. Uh, Leonard Miller's not happy with me. Apparently he's doing very good performances. But, I mean, you look at these. This is showing me that he's not. He's regressing, not progressing. I hate it when FM does that. Right, we've got Paul Pogba in. Good. Not rated very well. Not, not valued very well, but... He's got first touch of 17... Passing 17, Technique 17, Flair 17, Vision 16, Fairly Professional, Fairly for Professional, my arse. He will be a good addition. How good of an addition? Only time will tell. He might end up being an absolute nightmare. Ross Stewart's back from engine, which is good. He's back as well. That's good. Yep. Sam Tickle. Paul Parker not playing. Is he on the subs bench? Ah, we'll find out in a minute. Oh, maybe I can't because I can't register him yet because of the season. I think. I don't know. We'll have a look. Let's do numbers. Uh, where is he? There you go. So he is. He has got a squad number, so I'm assuming he is registered. Maybe he's on the subs bench. We will soon find out. Playing Dundee United now. So, is he on the sub bench? No. Ah, maybe they don't rate him. Uh, maybe if I did that. No, if I do that. Doesn't really make any difference. Oh well, maybe he's not ready yet. So, Right, there we go. So we've got Duras in goal, Welsh is right back today, so I assume Rui's knackered. Suter and Davis in defence with Diarra on the left, Hackney and Rios in midfield. Uh, Boulder and Maldini on the wings, and Stewart and Hoyland up front. Let's see how we do. This new tactic worked well last game, even though we didn't win. We were much more attacking so hopefully that's a good omen for this game. But if they get a player sent off, we're screwed. Ross Stewart's already knackered. Uh, we have to take him off, won't we? Well, Caruso up front. Well, that'll be an interesting one. Can he play up front? 
Ah, oh, we can play up front, so stand corrected. Ah, uh, Maldini's injured. Uh, put Caroso there, and then put Alan Patterson there, and then swap them about. Two injuries after 25 minutes, unbelievable. Good. That's good. We can. We're all right with that. They can have shots, shots like that all day long as long as they miss. We really need to win this game. We win this game. We potentially six. Right, come on, Suter. Rios, back to Suter. Davis. Diara. Oh, I don't know what Hackney was doing there. Felt sorry for the Dundee United, I suppose, gave him the ball back. Oh, go on. Oh, that's a red card if I've ever seen one. There we go. They'll probably win now. We know what happened last time. Right, Boulder's playing rubbish, so we'll take him off. Palacios on. Their goal kick, they'll probably score from this. Oh, no, we get it back. Bowler. Oh, Bowler, unlucky. Sod it. Let's go very attacking. We need to do something. In fact. Oh, come on. We can't get another draw after them getting a player sent off. It's ridiculous. If this was honestly, if we, if we had a man sent off, we'd have, we'd have lost this game. Oh, here we go. Bit of late drama here. Rios lines it up. Ah, that's just our luck lately. Ah, another draw. We love draws here. When was the last time we won a game? It seems to be hard coded in the game. We start well and then we just crumble. October onwards, we just do rubbish. We haven't won a game. Since the 23rd of September. Aldini's out for six or seven weeks. Right, we've got Air United in the Scottish Cup first, uh, fourth round, fourth round. So we could do a win in that game, but whether we will is a different story altogether. Oba Femi's back, so hopefully that'll help us. We're now playing a tactic with two strikers instead of one, so we really could do with all of our strikers staying fit.
Ah, uh, Pog was up for two or three weeks already. So uh, that tells you everything you know. Very injury prone, Paul Popper. I basically signed him just for the banter for the lols. I don't expect him to work out. But at least I can say I've signed Paul Popper for Rafe Rovers. It's all about getting the, uh, the title right on your YouTube video to attract people. Right then. Duris in goal. Ruri is back as right back. Welsh and Davis in defence. Diara is left back. Rios and Hackney in midfield. Carozo and Da Arigo on the wings. And then Stuart and Hoyle up front. So hopefully. I mean, flipping out of the way it's going, I don't know. Motherwell's a good team as well. We are neck and neck with them at the moment. We have got two games ahead of Motherwell. So. We've got two games ahead of the team above us as well. Right, Datarigo with the corner. Comes to nothing. Hackney's got the ball back though. Rui. Playing out of position there. I don't. I think that'll backfire on us in a minute. Diara. And that's it. Pass it all back to the goalkeeper. Who wants to pass it forward? Come on. There we go. Rios, pass it back. There you go. There we go. Oh, they yeah, have forward pass. Are you lot feeling all right? All right, Stuart. We the ball that goes nowhere and goes straight to them. And now they're counter-attacking and they will score in a second. I guarantee it. There we go. Henderson, bang, goal. Oh, bloody hell. Surprised by that. Right, they've got a goal kick. We get possession, but we lose it. Good clearance there by Rios. We are dicing with danger here. We are doing slightly better though. We were uh, we didn't have any shots a minute ago. Now we've got three shots and one on target. So hopefully, I think if we get like a, a win or two, we can get back on track. But it's just difficult for us to get anywhere. Our confidence is shattered. Right, that are you Diara. Diara now. That are you Oh, beautiful pass. Oh, Stuart, come on. That was your chance there, mate. Right, it's just keep encouraging the players. That's all we can do. Do you want to bet it will end up a draw? We love a draw here. Davis playing out from the back. Diara. Got a bit of pace on him, isn't he? Right, go on, Stuart. See what you can do. Beautiful pass. Oh, come on. Our strikers are letting us down in this game. Right, that Arigo. I feel like we haven't scored a goal in ages as well. Actually, what am I on about? We, we scored last game. Ignore me. Right. Hoyland needs to come off. Obafemi needs to come on. Rui needs to come off. He's knackered. Uh, Warner. We'll sort it out in a sec. Wait for this highlight to finish first. Oh, God's sake. Here we go. Goal. 
Why does he sound familiar? Oh no, I thought it was a player we had. <sighs> Corner to us. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands. I was hoping with the new winter update they would stop doing them on the match engine. It's just, I think a lot, a lot of people said the match engine is basically the same. But you can't really complain too much, can you? Because you don't want it to be really different because it might end up being worse. But, go on. Yes, go on. Get in. 1-1. One, one. Can I do a shouty shouty, please? There we go. Demand more. Right, one one. Let's see what we can do. Let's not lose. We always hope that at least get a draw and it counts as a bonus at this point. Do worst. As I say, you're dicing with danger there, mate. All right, come on. Let's not lose this ball. I feel like we're just passing it around until we lose possession. All right, Hackney. He can do. Oh my God, that was a terrible pass. Hackney, you're coming off. That was a terrible defensive header there. What were you doing? <sighs> God's sake. We are not very good at this. Right, let's break the players. Let's go attack in. Let's... Put Aziz up there. Let's try and throw the kitchen sink at them and see what happens. Probably nothing. Uh, see, XG 2.4, 2.04. We should have had at least two goals in that game. Uh, look how far we are now. This is really bad. Um, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to probably try this tactic out for a few more days, a few more games, sorry, and then scrap it. And, but I think this tactic is working well, which just the confidence is not helping. But anyway, I'll be back um, tomorrow with another episode. Thanks again, as always, and enjoy the rest of your day. All the best. Bye.